Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Um, some crazy stuff coming out uh, from yesterday, uh, a lot of earnings. Um, Facebook, I'm sure you've probably seen it right now. I'm going to try and upload this before the market opens, but it'll probably be um, uploaded after it's open. But Facebook is down currently 20%, and because of Facebook being down 20%, this one's being missed slightly. Um, I don't know, I missed the wire there. Uh, PayPal um, is down at 5% as well, so two really good buying opportunities in these stocks. You know how much I've talked about Facebook, that if there was a buying opportunity I'd get in and this is probably one of the best buying opportunities that we're going to have. I mean, we've been lucky that we had the Cambridge Analytica um, scandal which brought the stock down a lot and now this news about the earnings has brought the stock down again, so another good buying opportunity. And we've got PayPal, um, which also I'm a stock that I currently hold, I'm a big fan of, um, and that's just down because of weak guidance for the rest of the year. We're just going to go through a couple of numbers and then I'll talk about what I'm planning to do with these stocks, where I'm going to buy, sell, um, hold them, um, just all of that stuff. So we'll get stuck into um, Facebook. So Facebook was down 20%. Um, we can see on CNBC, which is probably the uh, website that I use most, most, most of the time to get a lot of my information. Uh, Facebook plunges more than 17% on revenue miss and project projected slowdown. Earnings per share was a B, revenue was a um, just a miss, um, not too much, 10, 10, uh, sorry, 100 million miss, not too bad. Um, daily active users was down slightly. Um, I've, always, I've said before on this channel that, you know, that's one of the things that Facebook will have is that the daily active, daily active users will slow down but at the same time you've you got to remember that Facebook own WhatsApp, they own you know um, Instagram, Instagram's still growing, WhatsApp's still growing um, and even if it slows down just because of these scandals you know you're still going to have that kind of younger generation coming through every year that will get onto Facebook um, which will obviously still increase it year by year um, so it's in no means that it's no, it's going to go negative on people joining, uh, joining and active users going down as well. And you got to remember about the you know I think the adverts on Facebook will bring in a lot of money as well. Um, Facebook missed projections on revenue and glo global daily active users this quarter after struggling with data leaks and fake news scandals. The company reported its second quarter earnings after the bell on Wednesday. Shares went down more than seventeen percent in pre-market trading Thursday at the current hours. Of prices and given its market cap at close of Wednesday. Facebook is poised to lose more than one, two, three billion in market value. Um, so you can see here that, you know, with, with what's going on, you know, we've talked about the revenue of the um, daily active users being missed and also about that there's going to be the slowdown of people that are going to be joining it and Facebook has um, now said that it's expected its growth rates to be lower um, than expected in the second half of the year uh, because of uh, GDPR, the uh, data protections and for currency fluctuations as the dollar gets uh, weaker. But you know, if you look into the actual proper numbers, you still see that Facebook's growing at a great rate. You know, it's still growing massive it's still double digit growth um the new people coming on still going 11 percent the revenue is still in the double digit growth so it's still it's still growing company you know with what's going on you'd think that facebook had crashed and is totally going to go out of business but um a really good buying opportunity from my point of view and my plan really for the facebook shares is the shares that i had in sketches um a while back after their earnings report, now that is what you call a worrying, er uh, uh, worrying earnings report, the slowdown on growth um, that had gone on, you got a lot more competition with Skechers, you know you got Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, um, that's a lot harder, that was a lot of a, more of a worrying earnings report. Facebook is by far still the giant, biggest social media website, um, so you, you know you're getting that at a discount price of 20%. It's it's absolutely a no-brainer to be buying Facebook. You saw after the scandal how much it went down and it bounced back up and go to new heights. Um, so I'm probably going to sell my shares in Sketches and buy uh, Facebook shares with them instead and just take a little bit of a loss on it. But if Facebook goes up to where it should go, then I should just recoup that money and obviously make more money as well as profit. 
Um, PayPal, PayPal's down 5%. I've always said that I want to extend my position to PayPal. It's a stock that I am planning to hold now uh, for another year, um, all the way to now 2020, um, which is, seems kind of scary. But yeah, I am holding it for another year. I think that stock will be touching um, the $100 mark very soon um, within that time frame. So that's why I'm going to hold that. But if we go into PayPal's earnings report, um, PayPal's earnings top estimates, but revenue outlook falls short. So they hit the target, but third quarter revenue, um, they're saying that it, they won't get it. But it's another company that's still getting double digit growth. You've got to remember that. Um, earnings per share, 8, 58 compared to 57. Revenue um, was still 70 billion better than uh, sorry, 70 million better than expected. Um, that revenue figure represents 23% growth. I mean, come on, 23% growth in PayPal. That is um, that is why I'm in that stock. Absolutely amazing. Um, but like I say, it's but PayPal also said this board's proof up to a 10 billion in share buyback, and all the purchases have been buying with other companies as well. Um, the financial technology company also raised its full year forecast. Um, so that's uh, you know something else uh, to keep in mind. But I mean the splash numbers, they're going to make more money. They're a double digit growth company, and just because of a bad third quarter that they believe they're going to have, um, it's took a five percent hit. Definitely a buying opportunity, in my point of view. And we, the money in my portfolio for PayPal um, is just going to come from uh, profits of previous positions. Um, I'm going to just put fresh money in to buy that one um, that I have on the side at the moment just for these occasions um, and that's kind of my plan today hopefully I get it up before the market uh, goes open um, I'm going to do probably some sort of portfolio free stocks I'm buying or something on them lines um, for August um, a little bit later on and I'll upload that soon and I'm also going to do a little bit of an earnings dive into one company that I was really impressed with a few days ago and I'll talk about that sometime soon. But thanks for all the support. Give the video a like and I'll see you on the next, the next video.